Hey guys, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm doing my Sephora sale haul today. This is a new sale that Sephora just started. This is the uh, VIB appreciation event. They usually always do the two sales, one in the spring and then one in the fall. This is the first time they've done one in August that I'm aware of. Um, it looks like they're trying to revamp their point system. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot more with your points, uh, gain more points per dollar, that kind of thing. So it, um, the time I'm filming this video, there's still a few days left in this sale. I believe it goes on until September 3rd. So there's a few days left. It was 20% off for Rouge, 15% off for VIBs, and 10% off for Beauty Insiders. I am a Rouge member, so I was able to get the 20% off of everything I've got here. I've got some makeup, some skincare, even some hair care, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first things that I wanted to pick up were some things from the Fenty Beauty line. So this is Rihanna's makeup line. Uh, the only things that I've tried from them is a little uh, mini set with the gloss balm and the kilowatt highlighter, which I really liked. So I picked up both the primer and the foundation. So the primer is called the Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So I'm really excited to try this really pretty blush packaging. And then the foundation, this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got mine in the shade 140. This was, I believe, described as light with yellow undertones. I also got the sponge and this is what it looks like on the back. I just really want to try something different than the Beauty Blender. And this I'm very excited about. I don't know how this is gonna be on my skin tone, but I just thought it was so beautiful. This is the Trophy Wife Kilowatt Highlighter. Just look at that. Beautiful gold shade. And even if um, this isn't like the best highlight shade for me. I think this is gonna be an amazing eyeshadow, but I've seen a lot of people with light skin tones try this and it looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna swatch it. So it's a really pretty true gold color. Really excited to try that out. So I'm really excited to try all these products out. Um, let me know down below. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a full makeup look using all the Fenty products that I got. So let me know what you think uh, about doing I that. I also picked up one of the Tarte Tardis lip paints. Uh, this is in the shade Exposed. Here's what it looks like here. It's a nice rosy nude color. It's actually um, one of them I'm wearing on my lips right now. Uh, this is in the shade Namaste. I really like these. I have it in the color Festival as well. They are a uh, liquid lipstick, so they're nice and matte, but they're not drying. I'm gonna do a little swatch for you right now. That's what it looks like there. Nice and opaque, really pretty color. Really excited to wear that. This next product here, I kind of just picked up on a whim. It is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I wanted to grab a different concealer just because pretty much all I use is the Tarte Shape Tape, which is, you know, everyone's sick of hearing about that. And then now with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I like that a lot as well. I've been using that, but I just wanted to try something different. Um, so this is what it looks like here. I got this in the shade 1N. This was the lightest shade, I believe. All right, so I'm gonna give you a swatch of it here. Feels nice and creamy. So let's take a look at what the claims are. So this says, uh, high performance, long wearing, weightless concealer, 12 hours, medium to full coverage, that's crease, transfer, and water resistant. I like the sound of that, but we'll have to test it out and see. I also picked up the Huda Beauty Foundation. Uh, this is in the shade Shortbread or 200B. Nice packaging, it's like a thick plastic and a pump as well. I believe this is an online only thing. At least they didn't have it at my Sephora. I had to get it offline. 
for the claims it says high coverage cream foundation effortless application camouflages imperfections and pigmentation soft focus filter finish I have watched a good bit of reviews on this product. Uh, it seems that a lot of people with the same skin type of me seem to really like it, so I'm excited to test this out. For the sale, this is a time when I like to stock up also on just things that are just repurchases for me that I use all the time, but you know, things that just kind of get annoying, we have to spend the money on them. So I also picked up one of the Beauty Blender Solid Cleansers. This, I just feel like works better than any other soap. I feel like it's really worth it. So I wanted to make sure I got one of these. Next, I wanna talk about skincare. The sale is a great time to stock up on your skincare because it can be really pricey, especially if you want good quality stuff. Lately, I've been really trying to focus on getting my skin right. I have my wedding coming up next year. Um, so one of the things I picked up is the Glow Recipe. And this is actually a set. So this is the pink juice. I've been using this for a while now. I really like it. It's a nice lightweight moisturizer. Smells like watermelon, smells delicious. I think you would really like this, especially if you have oily to combination skin. But I've been wanting to try this sleep mask. So it comes with the full size of the, the lotion. And then a, I guess this would be a deluxe sample size or travel size of the sleeping mask. I just feel like with winter coming up, my skin usually gets a little bit drier around then. So I wanna test this out too. This next product is something I've been wanting to test out for a long time. I actually really love not only Tarte's makeup, but their skincare. And I love their maracuja oil. So I picked up the maracuja neck treatment. Here's what it looks like here. It's a nice large jar. It comes with, let's see, 1.7 fluid ounces. So that's a lot of product. I've been using it for the past few nights so far. I really like it. I don't know if you can see here. It has a really nice thick texture. As I'm getting older now, I really wanna make sure I'm taking better care of my skin, especially the skin around my eyes and my neck. Um, so I know I'm starting to get lines around here, so I'll have to test this out and let you know how it is. Another brand that I really love their products is Glam Glow. This is something, I think it's fairly new. I've never tried this before. This is the Insta Mud Mask. I've been using the Glam Glow Super Mud Treatment Mask for a while, the one where you can see where it's sucking everything out of your pores. So I wanted to give this one a try. This is a foaming mask. Um, it's supposed to even skin tone, leaving skin smooth and soft. But the thing that really piqued my interest about this is that you only leave it on for 60 seconds, which I really like. Because when it comes to masks, I prefer things that are quick or I like to do sheet masks because they're a lot less messy. So here is what the packaging looks like here. They always have fun, bright colors. So I'm just gonna pump out. I just wanna see the texture of this. Okay, so it's purple that in and let's see if it foams up okay so you can see there how it started to foam up some so this is supposed to be a pore refining mask and i can kind of feel it tingling a little bit so i'm really excited to try this out this next skincare product is a repurchase for me this is the origins original skin matte moisturizer with willow herb i really love this and i think anyone with oily skin would really like this as well even if you have combination to normal i think you would like this it leaves your skin you really feel hydrated but you are also mattified at the same time which is why i love to use this even as just a primer under makeup i think it works perfectly for that highly recommend now the last category i have here is hair care products one of the things i picked up was the original olaplex hair perfector this is the number three i believe they have a shampoo and conditioner that go along with this so i assume that's numbers one and two I've been dyeing my hair blonde for about the past year now, so my hair can get a little bit dry, especially around the ends. So this is a treatment mask that you use. It says um, you can use this up to two to three times a week. Uh, you just apply it to your damp towel dried hair and then you leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it out. So this is supposed to repair and strengthen your hair. It's supposed to help your hair feel really soft and smooth, especially when after it goes through all that processing. So we'll have to see how this works. Next, I got a couple of products from Dry Bar. I think it's a really great hair care brand. The first thing that I got, this was actually a repurchase for me. This is the Detox Dry Shampoo. This, um, I really like. I've tried um, a few other dry shampoos in the past, like 
the one from Tarte that came out, I think last year. It just really didn't do anything for me. This is the only one that I feel like really makes my hair feel nice and clean, gets all that oil soaked up um, without making my hair feel like chalky or weird, anything like that. This is a new product to me. This is the Pep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. I've actually been using this um, for a few nights now. I just use this after I get out of the shower, after I wash my hair, spray it in and comb it through. I'm really liking this so far. This has been amazing for detangling my hair. As I said before, with uh, coloring my hair, it can get a little dry, so after I wash it, it can be a little difficult to brush out sometimes. But this has been amazing, and even when I just went and got my hair done recently, my hairdresser even commented on how soft my hair was. So this, so far, so good. All right, so that's all I have for my Sephora sale haul today. If you wouldn't mind leaving a comment down below, let me know what you picked up from the sale or what you're thinking about getting. And also if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like and subscribing for more videos like this to come. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.